Chapter 2, we're talking about summaries of data. 2.1 is for qualitative data. Remember, that's a description or a quality. A frequency distribution. The frequency of a category is the number of times it occurs in the data set. So a frequency distribution is the table that presents the frequency in each category. For example, suppose a retailer accepts four types of credit cards. Below list the last 50 customers' credit cards, and you'll see there's four different types of credit cards, and these are the number of customers out of the 50 in each category. So the sum or summation of this column, if I add all these numbers up, is the total frequency is 50, is the sample size of this distribution. So relative frequency um, and the frequency distribution displays how many in each category. Sometimes we're interested in the proportion. That means out of that category over the total. So proportion, percent, fraction, you change it into the percent in each category. So it's the, hey, how many in that category divided by the total number of people or individuals on the table. So same chart as the page before, we have a total frequency of 50 customers. That's our sample size. And if there were 11 MasterCards out of the 50, 11 divided by 50, 0 0.22, this is a terminating decimal, it stops. If it's not, you always at least want to round these to three decimal places when needed. The sum of The relative frequency column is 100% or one whole after you add this up. So you always want to check. You should only be off by one ten thousandths, if at all. A bar graph is a way we can display this qualitative frequency distribution each bar has its own, um, each category has its own bar, sorry. So this displays the frequency. Oh, there was 11 people that had MasterCard, so 11. And it just it displays them like that. Or you could be displaying the relative frequency, which is the same graph. It's just now it's in the percents in each category. But they're going to be the same size because they're still the same number. But this displays in percents, the other one displayed in whole frequencies. A Pareto chart is doing the same thing. This is the frequencies, so the people in each category, the number of people out of the 50. But you'll notice that they list it from largest to least. That's what makes it a Pareto chart. Horizontal bars is the same thing as well. You can do relative frequency or frequency, it's just listed horizontally. Pie chart most people are familiar with, same relative frequency in each category. The frequency in each category divided by the total sample size. So 22% of the 50, 22% of the total are MasterCards and they're all listed here. Here we're going to construct a frequency distribution of this qualitative data. So a total of 20 responses to a survey are listed here. If I wasn't told there's 20, I'm literally just going to count. There's 20. The questions asked are what reason you for visiting the local library? All right, so we have three reasons for visiting the local library. So we're going to find the frequency in each category. I'm literally just going to count how many people are there to study. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of the total 20. So the relative frequency, what percent of the people went there to study is going to be 8 divided by 20. 
0 0.4. Or 40%. How many people said they were there to meet somebody? One, two, three, four, five. How many said they were there to check out books? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these up because this should equal 20, my sample size, and that way I can see if I missed anything. And it does. So what's the relative frequency that you're there to meet someone. Five out of 20 is 25% a quarter. 0.25, seven out of 20 is 35%, Point three five. So a hundred percent of my information for this table is listed here. So the sum of my relative frequency category is one whole. Now we're not going to construct the charts, but we're going to, it's more important to be able to um, answer questions off the charts.